Welcome to the Secrets of the Bible Channel. Europe is a vast continent full of people. Ever wondered about the biblical origin of these European peoples? All European peoples have their own origin, and if you are curious about this, know that there is interesting genealogical information. Discover right now the origin of the white peoples, the European peoples according to the sacred scriptures. With that said, enjoy another video from our series, The Origin of Peoples According to the Bible. Europe is home to many countries including Germany, Austria, Poland, Hungary, France, Italy, Romania, among others. Did you know that the sacred scriptures mention the origins of European peoples? Biblical texts cite the names of the ancestral ancestors of certain European peoples in chapter 10 of Genesis. If you didn't know that, the sacred scriptures are sources that interpret these texts, taking into account the symbolism presented, the origins, regions, and countries of characters and peoples. In the case of European peoples, we find several mention in the sacred scriptures, but mainly the Greek people and the Macedonian people, who are direct descendants of one of the sons of Japheth. With this, we already have an idea of who is the ancestor of the European peoples. Just as Javan, son of Japheth, is considered the ancestor of the Greeks, so we may infer that Japheth, according to ancient genealogies, Jewish interpretations and in other books, and the general opinion of ancient Semitic peoples, is the origin of Europeans. All these sources point to Japheth, son of Noah. The name Japheth has meanings such as beautiful, pale, enlargement, or simply multiplication. Biblically, European peoples are called Japhethite peoples or Japheth peoples. In addition, linguistically, the European language family, including English, German, Russian, Ukrainian, and several others, is also known as the Japheth language family, in reference to the ancestor of the European peoples. The sacred scriptures address the ancestors of European peoples in chapter 10 of the book of Genesis and also in the book of Chronicles. In them, we find Japheth's lineage, his seven sons and his grandsons. Through the names of Japheth's sons and grandsons, we can decipher the origins of ancient Europeans. In antiquity, the Israelites themselves called the European peoples Japheths, as well as Javanites, referring specifically to the region of Greece as Javanites, or simply sons of Javan. In the book of Genesis, we find the names of each of these children. From now on, I will be mentioning the name of each one of them to all of you. These were the descendants of Japheth, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tiras. And these were the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Riphate, and Tagarma. These were the sons of Javan, Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodonim. The biblical identification of Ashkenaz as an ancestor of the Germanic peoples is a curious and interesting description, still present among Jews to this day. Ashkenazi Jews refer to regions including Germany, and other Germanic regions as Ashkenazi because of the ancestor of the Germanic peoples, who according to the ancient and biblical Jewish view, is Ashkenazi, who gave rise to the Germanic people, including the Germans themselves. In addition to Ashkenaz, there is also the biblical character called Rip Hate, according to ancient interpretations and consensus of the Irish themselves, who are direct descendants of the Celtic peoples. They concluded that Riphate is the biblical ancestor of the Celtic peoples, Riphate, son of Gomer and grandson of Japheth, is the ancestor of the Celtic peoples, also known as Celts. Celtic tribes scattered across Europe are direct descendants of Riphate, son of Gomer and grandson of Japheth. In addition to the descendants of Riphate, we find other sons of Japheth always related and seen as European peoples or regions of Europe, or peoples genetically related to Europeans. For example, we have the mention of Mati in the biblical text, who is interpreted as one of the sons of Japheth and refers to the nations that settled in the region of Iran, the Aryan or Iranian peoples. Biblically, the people called Madites are represented by the Medo Persians. Note the similarity between the terms Medo and Madai due to the origin of these peoples. Madai was the progenitor of the Madi tribes, which include the Medo Persians, the Parthians, and many other peoples of ancient Persian ancestry, all of whom trace their Madai origins through Madai, son of Japheth. Another name that calls our attention in Genesis 10 verse 2 is the name Maga. We also have the names Tubal and Meshech. Tubal and Meshech are considered the ancestors of Russian, Ukrainian, and other Slavic peoples. Slavic peoples are descendants of these three biblical characters. It is consensus among scholars of biblical genealogies and nations that Russia and Ukraine are the lands of Gomer and Magog, as Tubal and Meshech are their biblical ancestors. 
This is of paramount importance for us to understand the apocalyptic prophecies present in the book of Revelation, in the Old Testament, in Daniel, Ezekiel, Isaiah, and other books of the sacred scriptures. It is important that you know about each of these peoples, their names, and their ancestors. For example, Magog, Tubal, and Meshech are the biblical ancestors of the Slavic peoples. Ashkenazis is the father of the Germanics, but it is crucial not to confuse the Germanic peoples with the Slavic peoples. We have already discovered the ancestry of some groups of European peoples who are genetically related, all of whom are white peoples in Europe. Another biblical character that draws attention in the sacred scriptures is Tyrus, who is considered the ancestor of the Italian peoples due to his relationship with the Etruscans. The Etruscans are one of the peoples that make up the ancestry of the ancient Italians. The ancient Romans, descendants of the Etruscans and other Javanite peoples, have an interesting curiosity about Javan, son of Javath. Javan did not only give rise to Greek peoples, but also other peoples related to Greeks who were not Greeks but had a connection with them. It is fascinating to note that the names of the sons of Japheth have linguistic similarities, although there is differentiation due to Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic. These names bear a striking similarity, with linguistic variations due to the event at Babel, where different languages originated due to the wickedness of men. According to biblical tradition, there is a story that describes the existence of a common language among all human beings, known as the Edomite language. According to this narrative, this language would have been spoken by the first human beings, descendants of Adam and Eve. Currently, the world is characterized by a great linguistic diversity. There are thousands of different languages spoken across the planet, and many of them have their own history and evolution. An example of this is modern Greek, which is the language spoken in Greece today. Modern Greek is a variant of ancient Greek, which in turn has been spoken for thousands of years, since classical antiquity. Over the centuries, Greek has undergone transformations and changes in its structure and vocabulary, resulting in the form we know today. Among the children of Javan, we find Elisa, identified as the ancestor of the Greek or Greek peoples. Elisha, grandson of Japheth and son of Javan, gave rise to the original Greeks. The similarity between Elisha and the word Helens is evident not only in English, but also in Hebrew and, of course, in the Greek language. Another son of Javan who arouses curiosity is Tarshish, mentioned several times in the sacred scriptures. Tarshish is the ancestral father of the Tartessians, the first inhabitants of the Iberian Peninsula. The Portuguese and Spaniards are descendants of Tarshish. Although they have other Japhet's estries and an admixture with Semitic peoples, they are originally considered to be descendants of Tarshish, the Tartessians. Tarshish is described as the son of Javan and grandson of Japheth. Another son of Javan, called Kittim, is always associated with the island of Cyprus. Therefore, the Cypriots are descended from Kittim, one of the sons of Javan. The fourth son of Javan is called Dudan, although some believe that there was a transcription error, and that he is actually Rodanum or simply Doranum, due to linguistic differences. He is considered the ancestor of the Dardanoi, an ancient Trojan people. I could spend hours bringing more stories and biblical identifications about the characters and their origins, but I'll leave it to the next video in the series, which will be about the origin of Asian peoples according to the Holy Scriptures. In short, European peoples are direct descendants of Japheth and are called Japheth peoples. Leave your comment on the subject and share the video if possible. See you soon.